fast, but he still couldn't hear, so he decided to come down. But the window saw was very narrow, and when he turned round, he knocked the ladder down. So he was stuck. He couldn't jump down because it was too far, and he couldn't shout to his mother because then she'd know he'd been spying on her. So he just sat there. It got dark, and because there wasn't very much room on the sill, his legs grew very stiff. Sometimes some people went past, but he couldn't shout to them for help because his mother would hear. So there was a drain pipe going down the wall, and the boy thought, if I reach across and get hold of that, I'll be able to climb down. So he reached across, but he slipped off the windowsill and fell down and broke his neck. I told you. He doesn't understand. Well, his mother went on sitting there and talking to herself. And she began to get worried because he was late home from work. And his dinner would get spoiled. So she said... No, she didn't. She didn't say anything then. She got up. Oh, that's right. And groped her way downstairs. There's another aeroplane! Do you think he understood when I drew this house? That doesn't look like a house. You can't draw. That looks like a Diplodocus walking in space. Or a pterodactyl flying under the sea. I think he might take us to the moon. Wish we had a proper pencil. You know where I am. I am in Why did you say we were... The first white people he's ever seen. I always thought you had lots of crayons and pencils in your satchel. Please have a look. But look at that. I think he's going to take us to Mars. <laughs> Uh, we won't find it, Hill. Once them balloons get loose, they're away. Perhaps. Uh, you won't find that. Two zero one. Look from time to time, please. They're expensive, and I don't like to waste expensive things. Sure. Well, I better get back to my mud pies. Well, I'll be off then. You all right for smoke, Phil? What? On me. Oh, no, no, no. Go on. But there is three packets I have two of you. Well, don't worry about it. I'm trying to give it up. Hey, stop it! Hey! Hey, stop it! It's expensive. Hey! 
How's it going, boy? I said, how's things? You got ear trouble? Not a bullock, not a one. I'll go to the army. Suit yourself.
weather balloon. This black one's bigger and it's ticking. I wonder where it came from. Probably someone's listening to it. Will that hurt me? No, of course not. How long will it take? Ask him. Ask him how long it will be before we get anywhere.
Hello? Need it much longer. 
Put it down and go to sleep. I want to start early in the morning. I think he wants to stay here. Why should he? It's nice. I think he wants to stay here for a while. There's lots of birds growing out there. Anyway, I've already decided something. We're going on our own tomorrow. Why? That's best. No! Suppose he wanted to do something or something happened. Suppose he tried to... Suppose he went off and left us. No, he won't. He likes being with us. Won't go. He must have got it. Will he dance all night? It's all right. He won't keep you awake. Can we go on the road? What road? Up there. We found the road. Didn't he tell you? What sort of road? The real road? Yes. Is that where we're going tomorrow? Yes. You were getting somewhere. reason for him to stay. He just wanted to bring us to the road. We must be near a town. So he's gone back to his family. Ah! Oh! It's not me alone. He didn't say goodbye to us. Yes, he did. That's what the dance is about. It's their way of saying goodbye to people they love. They love to have a warm bath. With clean towels and eat with real plates and knives and forks and have proper sheets and records and clean my teeth properly and wear all my own clothes. <sighs> I'm glad I washed your things. We want to look nice when you find us. Did you keep that button? You must be near somewhere if there's a road. I wanted to give him my pen knife. He's dead. How? I tried to give him my pen knife, but he wouldn't take it. That doesn't mean that he's dead. Take it. Should I see if the rug's still there? No, of course it's there. Did you eat your breakfast properly? Yes. You should always sit down when you eat. You shouldn't wander about. You ready then?
you walk? What are you thinking? Shall we sit down a bit? Stop sulking. What's the radio? You forgot it. So what? It didn't work. It's time now for a hospital request. You're listening to the first network of the ABC, Radio 2BL Sydney, 2FC Newcastle. The time is half past eight. he thought he was doing the best thing. Oh, that's silly. Well, I said I don't know, didn't I? All right. You ready? Yes. What's the name of that town? I don't know. Here. We give them to her, same as anyone. When will they... I don't know. They never send me a card. Well, how often do they use... I don't know. You'll have to wait. You'll find it down the road. What? Where you stay. Don't touch anything. the rest of the time. We shan't have to wait long. Someone will come soon. Can we go and see the mine? Yes, if you like. Can I go and play? 
Yes. Don't go far. Be careful. I'll be all right. They've made a decision. I get Graham's job when he leaves Friday, Ian takes over mine, and Robbie and Alan go over to accounts. Which means old male looks like being out of a job. Still, it's his own fault. If they're going to compete on the coming market... the land of lost content. I see it shining plain, the happy highways where I went and cannot come again. <laughs> <laughs> 